Hello and welcome to my channel Hardware AI. Today I'm going to be doing a few demos for the new Coral board from Google. I'm going to do detailed review later, probably later this week. Uh, and for this video I just wanted to show you a few demos. Let's jump straight to action for a few demos of the object recognition from the live USB cam web stream and also the demo of transfer learning on the device. Now we can see the server starting and uh, there is a live feed from USB cam with inference running in real time. You can see the inference time and uh, FPS count. The bottom result is the best prediction. So right now it's showing it's an eraser, but if I tilt the webcam like that, it's showing it's lighter, so that's right. Inference time actually really great and the FPS count is over the charts. It's more than 200, 300 FPS. Let's try the cup. Coffee mug. Okay. Um, well, here it's pretty sure it's a tray. iPod. iPod. It's not iPod. It's still close enough. This is a computer mouse, that's for sure. This is a keyboard, which is right. The bottom result is the best prediction, it's the highest score. Um, okay, now that looks like... That probably should be, should be looking like plants. Pot, flower pot. Okay, and this is a water bottle with high accuracy score. It's not water, but it's a bottle. All right. <clears throat> now, I have a few toys lying on the table. Here is that cute robot from Star Wars, and it doesn't recognize it, not surprising. I also have a Captain America figure, doesn't recognize Captain America. What a shame. I have Little Captain America, and it says it's a knee pad, hmm. And finally, there is a train, little toy train. Okay, so um, our model doesn't know any of these toys, and we will want to take some, take some pictures of the objects we want to recognize. Here's the fast forwarding, I'm taking the pictures with the press of the space button from different angles. Okay, almost done. Okay, and then we're going to transfer the files to the computer. Since I need to put them in different folders according to object label, I'm going to use SCP command for that to transfer the images in the car archive to my Ubuntu computer. Almost done with that procedure. Okay, here they are. Let's extract. All right, folders are done. Let's copy the object to the corresponding folders. It's great. That's done. Then let's put the folder in the, into archive, and then transfer it back. All right, here we're going to run the command for the transfer learning on the device and then it works just like magic, just on a few images. So the next step for us is to run the same image recognition server but with the new model. So we're going to change a few parameters here and then finally test it. All right. So we got the server running again, and let's have another look at the toys we had before. Now the train, the B BB-8, I think it's BB-8, and Captain America. All right, so the bottom result is the, is, is the highest confidence score, so that's Captain America, which is nice. That's true. 
let's try another one. Alright, now this is BB-8, that cute robot from Star Wars. This is correct. And then this is a train. Wow, this this is fantastic. I actually was almost sure that it will not work. Now I'm trying to confuse it. Uh, so I'm putting the Captain America and BB-8 side to side. And as you see, this is just astonishing. In this video, I'm not going to do the first boot procedure because there are already a few articles and I think a video, a live stream about how to do that. There's just three details I want to pay your attention to. The first one, if your screen, screen command doesn't work, then you can try with sudo, as shown here. Now the next one is the installing of the fastboot. You'll need fastboot to flash the image. I tried installing it from uh, using uh, sudo up get install and that one doesn't work for Ubuntu so you need to follow the steps in the get started manual. Download the archive and install it in your system. Then it works the fast boot. Now the final point about the operating system running on Coral board is that as shown here in GitHub, it's basically it's basically a Debian distribution, so you can also use standard Debian packages. Um, it's probably not recommended, and it's a little bit hacky. But but if there is uh, some package that's not available um, from Google's repository, then you can just add repositories for Debian Stretch, as shown here.